Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through hundreds, tens and units with numbers up to 1000. Let's have a look at our first example. What we're going to do is first is to draw the abacus. Now you've seen this before, we've done this several times. And we're going to label it. We always start on the right hand side first. U for units, the one next to it is tens, the one next to that is hundreds, and next to that is thousands. TH for thousands. Okay, the question is we have got the number 674. We're going to write this down. 674. How many hundreds are there in 674? How many tens are there? And how many units are there? Well, let's draw it on the abacus. Let's start on the right hand side. We've got units and we've got four units. One, two, three, four. So there are four units in this number. How many tens are there? Well, there are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven tens. And lastly, we've got is the hundreds. There are six. So let's write this down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we've got 674. What we can do is we'll write this down over here, 674. And the best way to work this out is start on the right hand side and label the numbers. Same as the abacus. We start on the right hand side. First it's units. The one next to it is tens. And the one next to that is hundreds. So there are six hundreds in 674, there are seven tens, and there are four units. It's very simple, nice and easy to work out. Now let's move on to our second example. This time, we're just going to get the number. And we've got 795. 795. So the question is, how many hundreds are there, how many tens are there, and how many units are there? Now this is a very common question you'll find in tests, in class and so forth, so it's important you know how to do this. Start on the right hand side first. I'm just going to change colors to make it, um, to highlight this. Start on the right hand side first. This five. On top of the five you can put the U for units. There are five units in 795. Now move on to the digit on its left. This is the tens. And look over here in the abacus, it's exactly the same. So there are nine tens in 795. And lastly, we've got the number on the left, to the left of the tens, and that is the hundreds. How many hundreds are there? There are seven hundreds. So 795 has got seven hundreds, nine tens, and five units. It's very simple and very easy to work out. Okay, we're now going to look at a scenario where the question, they actually tell you what the hundreds, tens, and units are, and you have to write down what number it represents. Let's go through this. So there is a number which says that, in fact, I'm not going to read it out. I'm just going to write it down. And you'll see this in class. There. I hope you can read that. Okay. Go through it, and I want you to write down 
what number it represents. Have you done that? Great, let's go through it then. So this number is, well, we can start on the right hand side. It's important you can start on the right or the left. In fact, on this scenario, we'll start on the left so you can work through this way as well. There are three hundreds. So we write down three. Next, we are told there are eight tens. Eight tens. So we write down eight. And lastly, it says there are two units. So in words, read this out, 308, well, it says 308 tens and two units. The number is 382. 382. Now we're just going to work through one more example because this next one is the one that quite often challenges challenges a young user on this. Okay, this time let's suppose we're going to get a word problem and it's written like this. Okay, I want you to have a read of that and try to guess what number it represents. What number do you think it represents? Okay, let's go through this. We can start on the left hand side. We've got 800. It says 800. So we write down 8. There we go. Next, it says there are seven units. But hold on, we've gone from hundreds over here straight to units. So what happened to the tens? Well, if it doesn't say it, it means there are zero tens. Above the eight, you can even put down H as a reminder. The one next to it has to be the tens. There are no tens written, so we put a zero. And lastly, we've got is the units. How many units are there? Well, it tells us in the question here. It tells us it's seven. So therefore, this number is 807. Just be aware, sometimes they write something just to make it a little bit tricky. So that is how we work through numbers up to 1,000 and work through hundreds, tens, and units.